Today, I'll show you the fastest way to enroll in courses on Acorn. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of UFT 101. If this is your first time here, my name is Kim and I'm an upper year student studying life sciences at the University of Toronto. This episode will be split into two videos because currently some enrollment features on Acorn are still disabled. In other words, I might not be able to show you everything about course enrollment in just one video. However, I still want to give you what I have now and put this video up early to benefit my subscribers. Hopefully this video will help you guys feel more confident and less stressed about course enrollment. Part 2 will be available in the next few days, so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on future content. And of course, the best way to support me is to like and share this video. Feel free to comment down below if you have any questions. Without further ado, let's get started! Your start time indicates the earliest date and time at which you can start enrolling in courses. Everyone has a different start time, so make sure you write that down on the calendar or set a reminder for this day because missing this time window might result in not being able to execute your plan smoothly as some courses might fill up super quickly. Once your division has set up your enrollment start time, it will be displayed on a dashboard under Academics. On your start date, you'll not be able to log into Acorn until your start time. For example, if your start time is 1 p.m. That's the earliest you can access Acorn on that day. However, you will be able to log into Acorn anytime after the start date. At this point, you've probably figured out what courses you'll take this year. If you're new to UFT and you're choosing courses for the first time, I made a tutorial that will guide you through how I select courses every year. So click the link above if you're interested. Your enrollment card has a similar function as an online shopping cart. You can save courses you intend to enroll beforehand and check out when it's your turn to enroll on your designated date. On Acorn, click Enroll and Manage. Make sure this is the session you like to enroll courses in. For this upcoming academic year, it will say 2020 to 21 fall winter. Click Courses. Utilize the search field to look for courses by course code. Here, I'm just going to use Chem 135 as an example. Click on the course you'd like to enroll in. Some semester courses are offered in both fall and winter session, so pay attention to which semester you're choosing. On this pop-up screen, select your desired lecture section and any other required sections such as tutorials or practicals. Click Add to Enrollment Cart. So what you've just selected is now sitting in your enrollment cart. As a reminder, courses in your cart will not be automatically enrolled in when your enrollment time begins. You'll have to manually enroll into courses on your enrollment day. If you have tried ticketing for any events before, you probably have to pick several seating options as a backup plan just in case your first one was sold out. Same goes to course enrollment. It's all about speed and tactics. Well, maybe some luck. Smaller classes such as tutorials and practicals can fill up super quickly. You need to know exactly what you're going to do if a course or a specific section of the course is full when it comes to your turn to enroll. Whether that's putting yourself on the waitlist or jumping to another course or section, whatever that is, come up with a plan. If you can't get into your first option, figure out what is the next best lecture section, tutorial, or practical section prior to your enrollment date. That way, you don't have to find out about course conflicts or other problems on the spot. Since you have done most of the work prior to enrollment day, all you have to do now is to enroll courses in your enrollment cart. First up, you want to log into Acorn, click Enroll and Manage, Courses, find your enrollment card and click enroll for each course. When your enrollment period begins, the enroll button on this pop-up screen will be enabled and it'll look something like this. Click enroll to confirm. If you have successfully enrolled in the course, you will get a notification on the top right corner and the course will be listed under currently enrolled courses. Don't leave this video just yet because I'm going to share tips I have regarding course enrollment with you guys. Tip number one, enroll smaller class first. When enrollment begins, the first thing you should do is to enroll in courses with fewer space. That way you can secure your spot as soon as possible. Tip number two, if the class is full, add yourself to the waitlist. Earlier you add yourself to the waitlist, you'll be placed at a higher ranking on the waitlist for that course. Tip number three, if you change your mind later and want to switch course section, click this pencil thingy of the section you want to change. On this pop-up screen, choose the section you'd like to switch to. Remember to click modify in order to save your changes. Again, you'll get a notification if you have successfully switched to your 
desired section and changes will be reflected on this page as well. As you can see, the execution aspect is pretty easy as long as you plan ahead of time and have a contingency plan. Anyways, that's the end of today's video. I'll make sure to upload part 2 as soon as my enrollment period becomes active. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe for more content from my channel. Stay safe and connected and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!